for th for thousands of other folks in Colorado, this danger is far from over. Alicia Acuna is live for us in Boulder. Alicia. Hi, Trace. And because it's not raining right now, emergency crews are really worried about this false sense of security that folks can have because it seems like things are becoming a little more mild. But if you take a look, and we're going to push off here so you can take a look at the rage of the Boulder Creek here, it is anything but mild because this is the water that is washing out roads and taking out bridges, cars, and anything else it wants to, really. Um, but because of the break in the rain, helicopters, for the first time, were able to get up in the air today. And so therefore, we're able to actually give you an up above view of some of the devastation. Now, emergency crews here are also emphasizing to people and telling them that they will be arrested if they are caught kayaking or tubing down this water, something that we have seen. And the governor of Colorado is asking people and telling them, look, just don't bring this on yourselves. It doesn't look like there's any, any uh, uh, sign of weakness, and all of a sudden, six feet slides off into the, into the creek. You don't want to be near when that happens. Let's let the Mother Nature run the, its course, and then we can go out and look and, 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 and marvel at the strength and the power. But right now, let's stay safe. Now, north of here in the cities of Loveland and Fort Collins, severe flooding from the Big Thompson River. The Big Thompson overran its banks and is now flowing over Interstate 25. The main corridor between Colorado and Wyoming has now been closed by the Colorado Department of Transportation. No word on when that is going to reopen. Also, Trace, there are well more than 100 elementary and middle school students that are right now stuck in some of those mountain towns that have been cut off from the rest of Colorado. They are safe, they are dry, and they are being well fed. They were up on field trips doing outdoor education. Their parents probably aren't doing so well, but we have been assured by authorities that the kids are safe. Trace. Yeah, I can imagine those parents freaking out a little bit. Alicia Acuna live for us in Boulder, Colorado. Alicia, thank you.